This is where many headaches start. Anyone who's ever worked in a large office knows what it's like to spend the entire day under artificial light from a variety of sources. Researchers say that improper lighting can lead to fatigue, difficulty concentrating, and poor performance. Light has three effects on humans, more or less. One is the biological effect, meaning how it regulates our biological clock. Then light also serves vision, of course. And when you process what you've seen, it has a third effect, the emotional effect. This emotional effect is important to our sense of well-being. Daylight is best. That's why researchers at the Fraunhofer Institute for Industrial Engineering are working to bring daylight indoors. A luminous ceiling recreates the effect of passing clouds, giving the impression of being outdoors. The lighting here is made out of 35,000 LEDs that can generate any desired color. The entire effect is called dynamic light. We've made a few important findings. First, people like dynamic light, which we didn't want to take just for granted. And we found that dynamic light reduces fatigue and improves well-being. We've found that dynamic light is especially popular with people working on creative tasks. In the early morning, natural light is more blue. Experiments have shown this gives concentration a boost. In the late afternoon, natural light is warmer, that is, more red, and that helps you relax. The intelligent desk operates according to the same principle. The main advantage here is that individual users can adjust the illumination and color temperature according to their needs. Studies have shown that in the morning, users tend to favor blue light, which helps wake them up. In the late afternoon, they're more likely to select a calming red-tinted light. In the summer, they select a cooler hue. In the winter, a warmer one. Light researchers are also building on the insights of chronobiology. Light helps regulate our sleep and wake cycles, our moods, and many other bodily processes. In the future, lighting will keep getting more intelligent. For example, it will know our light story, meaning when we got up, when we go to work, how much daylight we've already been exposed to. The lighting of the future will know all that and automatically adapt to it. Until then, we'll have to keep experimenting ourselves to figure out the best lighting for various tasks and times of day.